many different messages and I, I believe God is still at work in the lives of his people. He wants souls to be saved into the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. I read the book of Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 10 or 11. And every priest stands daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. And every priest stands daily and makes sacrifices which cannot take away sins. But this man, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice, for sins forever sat down on the right hand of God. But this man, <laughs> but this man, who is this man? Who is this man that the scripture is talking about? Jesus Christ. But this man, Jesus Christ, the word of God, the son of the living God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. But this man made one sacrifice for us. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave this man. He offered this man his only begotten son. He made a sacrifice unto us. Verse 13, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his fools too. For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Child of God, you are sanctified through the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The day we surrounded our lives to Jesus, we received sanctification through his death. Whereof the Holy Ghost is also a witness to us. Verse 15. When we were sanctified, the Holy Ghost became our witness. What is the Spirit of God speaking to us right now? Jesus is still at work. The Holy Ghost is still our witness. The Holy Ghost is still our helper. The Holy Ghost is still our director. The Holy Ghost is still our comforter. The Holy Ghost is still our teacher. We have been sanctified. And the Holy Ghost holds that as a witness. This tells us how God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost is aware and conscious of his children. He's aware and conscious his eyes is upon us daily. 
God the Father sanctified us through his son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost came upon us as a witness before men. Child of God, you are not an ordinary person on earth. I love the scripture and the Holy Ghost Verse 16, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days. See, as the Lord, God has made a, a covenant with us through the blood. Through the blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary, that blood broke the power of hell, the power of sin. That the devil had over the children of God. The blood came and broke that power. And the blood sanctified us. We are clean. This is the covenant that I will make with my people. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will I write them. Why am I reading all this? Because God wants us to be strong. I'll put my word. When the Bible talks about the laws, it says, I'll put my laws. I'll put my word in their hearts. I'll put my words in their heart and in their minds I will write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Sometimes the devil comes, you know, he's still at work like he did to uh, 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 Eve and Adam. He's still at work. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to give you life and give you more in abundance. The devil is still at work deceiving many Christians. The devil comes to remind you of your past, remind us of our past. And that is why many Christians are giving up in life. Many Christians are, are discouraged in life because the devil is still at work. He says, your sins, my sins and iniquities, our wicked ways will he not remember any longer. Therefore, the Bible says, he that is in Christ is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. Jesus has cleansed us. He has sanctified us. When I wake up in the morning, I know the blood is still at work. Hey, anywhere I walk upon the face of the earth, I know the blood is still at work. And their sins and iniquities Will I remember no more? Why would God <laughs> sanctify us, cleanse us, and, you know, forget about our sins, our past <laughs> things that we have done? And we allow the devil who never created us, who has no power over us, come and remind us of our past and put us back to where we, we didn't, or where we were before. Jesus said, he has come to give us life. And to give us life in abundance. Shande Baru Bakataya Nanabashi. Now, verse 18. Now, where remission of this is, there is no more offering for sin. 
Christ has made the final offering for sin for us. Child of God, do not allow people to say to you that bring this, bring that, give offering of 10,000 Ghana cities or 20,000 Ghana cities or whatever currency. They say, come, let us make a sacrifice unto the Lord because you have sinned. You have done something against the Almighty God. That is why certain things are not going right on your side. Child of God is a lie from the pit of hell. The Bible says he has made the final sacrifice. Therefore, there is no other sacrifice for sins. The blood is still at work. The blood is still at work. It never ceases. This afternoon, be empowered by the word of God. Know that you have been sanctified and God sanctifies us. Anytime we come before him in repentance, he sanctifies us. When we come before the throne with our, with our hearts broken down, say, Father God, forgive us. We don't need to go and kill fowls or make a, a, a sacrifice to any priest or pastor or prophet or any other person. Jesus is our high priest. <laughs> Jesus is our high priest. Jesus is our high priest. Hallelujah. Verse 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood. We enter into the holiest, the throne, through the blood of Jesus. It is not by might. It is not by the number of words that you speak. It is boldness through the blood of Jesus. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. When, when God the Father sees the blood, the sacrifice that his son, his beloved son, sacrificed on the cross of Calvary, when he sees the blood, oh, child of God, and you are walking through the blood and in the blood and applying the blood, you enter into the holiest. There you can speak with the Father through the blood. By a new and living way, which he had consecrated for us, God, Jesus, came and brought back the bridge through the blood. Now we can go to the Father. What Satan took away from the Garden of Eden, from man, Jesus came and restored it back unto us. He has consecrated us and for us through the veil that is to say his flesh when he was crucified and having an high priest over the house of God. Your body is the temple of the most high God. It says now Christ has become our high priest. He has become our high priest. Let us draw near with a true heart. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. You know, for the past weeks, I've been talking about faith. When we are applying the blood through faith, we'll get to where God has destined us to be. I pray that tomorrow, 12 o'clock, by the grace of God, you join me. The Lord has given me another message for, 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 for all nations. 
message of faith. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Full assurance of faith. Faith assures our hearts that the blood has been used for us. It has been something that has sanctified us. Therefore, we can boldly go to the Father by faith. Full assurance. Full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. I love verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. So, <laughs> In other translation, it says, let us hold unwaveringly to the hope that we confess. The day we gave our lives to Jesus, we had a communion with God. We have come back to him. All our sins has been washed away. Why is the Bible saying that we should hold fast the profession of our faith? Because the devil comes to steal. The devil comes to destroy. He comes, he, he comes to quote a scripture to destroy the children of God. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. Faith is very important in our lives. Faith is powerful in our lives. Faith overcomes the, 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 the thoughts and intents of the devil. Faith is a very powerful tool in the kingdom of God. Faith moves. Let us hold fast. The profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised you and I. Shande Let us hold fast. The gospel that has been preached to you, the gospel that has been preached to me, salvation, our belief, our faith in God, hold fast what you have heard. Lest any man take away from you. The devil is working. Child of God, I sometimes I hear stories, I hear things that people are doing to other children of God. It is satanic. Some men, so-called men of God and women of God, deceiving the elect, the children of God. It is satanic, devilish. The Bible says, Test their spirits. Test them. You shall know them by their fruits. Their fruits, some of them are using the name of God in vain to destroy you. Therefore, the Bible says, hold fast. Let us hold fast. The profession of our faith, what we have heard, what we have known, what <laughs> Jesus did for us and is doing for us, hold fast. Hold fast, out of God. We are in the end times. Jesus said, I'm coming quickly. I am coming quickly. Hold fast. Hold fast. Persevere. Endure your cross. Endure it. Hold on. Endure every power of the enemy. Any temptation, anything that comes your way. Endure it. Hold fast your profession. Lest any man should take it away from you. That is what the devil is aiming at. For us to lose our salvation. In the book of Revelation, I'll come back to this. In the book of Revelation, I, I was reading a scripture where Jesus was talking to the seven churches. 
Revelation chapter 3. Hallelujah. Verse 10, Revelation 3, verse 10. Jesus was talking to the seven churches and <laughs> he said to the church in Philadelphia, there were seven churches that the angels, so every church uh, has got their angel that speaks to the church. Jesus sent them, hallelujah, to speak to the churches. Verse 9 and 10, Behold, I will make them of sinner of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word. Mm. You see, Hebrew says, Hold fast. Jesus rewards those who hold fast to the word of God. And he will reward you. He will reward anyone who hold fast. Who keep their faith to the end. He was talking, this church was clean. This very church. All the seven churches, this was the one that was, Jesus found clean. He says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. When you keep the word of God, when you hold fast the word of God, God will hold you and keep you from all temptations. Hmm. We shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. There is something coming. Tribulation. The days of tribulations are very close. We see some of them now. Why are people, you see so-called, in quote, men and women of God go and take powers from elsewhere? They cannot or they are not able to hold fast their faith. They go and take powers to, to draw people into their churches. It is not necessary, child of God. Draw people to hell. Draw people to condemnation. Destroy their lives. If there's a big church somewhere. Oh, let's go there. It is not as important as a soul being saved into the kingdom of God. And the soul keeping the word of God. The soul <laughs> walking in the status of God, in the laws of God, in the obedience of God. That is what the kingdom is all about. That souls will hear the, the word of God and they will keep the way. Because thou hast kept the word. Thou hast held fast my word. These are the words of Jesus. When temptations and trials come from all sorts of uh, corners, devilish, satanic agents, they come to, you know, I always tell people that when you see Challenges. You see the people fighting you. You must know that they want to take that glory. They want to take that uh, blessing that God has given you. They want to tarnish your image. They want to destroy your life. Therefore, you use the word as Jesus said, for it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by any word, by, by any word that cometh or proceeded from the mouth of God, the God the Father. Jesus was ready when the devil came to him. 
He was the word and he is the word. Jesus is the word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. <laughs> John 1, 1. And when we read verse 12 to 14, it says, and the word became flesh. The word dwelt amongst us. The word is in you. The word is in you. The word dwells inside you. That's why he said, if my word abide in you and you abide in, my, in, in me, you shall bear more fruit. You shall bear more fruit. So the word must abide in us. The word must be grounded and rooted in us for us to bear more fruit. And what is the fruit that Jesus is talking about? His word, his word, that when the devil comes with any word, you, your fruit, will show to the devil that you are stronger than him. Because the Bible has said, greater is he that lives inside you than he that is in the world. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Because you have kept my word and endured steadfastly, I will also keep you from the hour of testing. That is about to come on the world, the whole world. There's a time coming. The Bible says the devil will be released. For how many years? A thousand years. He will be tormenting people. He has not been released and people are already giving up. So what about when he is released? Are we going to worship him? Hmm. If you're a leader, you're a child of God, the Bible, Jesus is speaking to us. Because thou hast kept the word. Keep the word. Everything in this world, the, the Bible, Jesus said, heaven, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word, my word, my word, shall never pass away. Heaven and earth. When they will talk about that. If heaven and earth passes away, then why is the word? What is the word doing? What shall it do? So we will talk about that. Heaven and earth shall pass away by his word. The word that we keep will overcome. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, the word, what they testified to the devil. As Jesus testified to the devil, he says, a man shall not live by bread alone. It was a testimony to overcome the enemy. And that is what we use, the word, to overcome the enemy. Let us keep the word. Hold fast to what you have learned. Hold fast to the word that has been preached to you. Hold fast to Jesus. Hold him wherever you go. Let him be with you. Be with him. He said, I've opened a door that no man can shut. The Bible says, for the word of God is quick and powerful. Let the word of God be quick on your tongue. Let it dwell in your heart. Let it speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May let his face shine upon you. May you be blessed when you go out. May you be blessed when you come in. May you prosper in anything and everything that you do. In the precious name of Jesus, God richly bless you for taking time and joining us in hearing the word of God. Stay blessed and God bless you.